Finally, the the kits have arrived. I've ordered up 200 units. This is the ex extension add-on for the climate control harness. Um, and you will notice that it uh, has a relay socket and a little switch. Uh, the relay is not included in the package, so you will need to buy uh, buy or find a relay. It is extremely important that you choose the right type of relay. The most common relay is used on this harness. It is called the Type B relay. Um, you will see that the 30 uh, is uh, straight down and the 86 is up there. Uh, on Type A's, um, those um, are switched. So you will have 30 there and uh, 86 there. It is important that you use this type of relay. Hooking it up is fairly simple. The green one goes into the switch, obviously. Uh, your relay goes into the relay socket there. Um, and these cables here uh, will get the power to the system. Uh, you can connect it to your uh, outlet on a, your cigarette lighter. Uh, this cable should be thick enough to support uh, ordinary um, uh, power from your 12-volt uh, out outlet. Um, it's just plug and play, basically. Uh, you just need to, to be aware uh, which direction the um, current goes, so you don't uh, revert it. Uh, it's no big deal if you do make a mistake, because um, if it's hooked up wrong, uh, the relay or and the switch, they it just don't want to work. So uh, then you will understand that you have to reverse it. I've now hooked up my uh, relay, uh, and this is a different type of relay with a little uh, light on it to, to just to see, to illustrate when, when the system is active and, or not. Uh, and uh, I'm going to uh, get power on the system. Uh, we're putting out 13.25 volts, and woohoo, the switch is lit on. Um, I'm going to press the button. Yoo -hoo! They came out on another little light. And here, the little green light is on. I'm going to switch it off. Uh, and on. Uh, and in on, it uh, is pulling 0. Point, and uh, I'm sorry, 2.12 watts. That's basically nothing. That's uh, less than a light bulb in your car. So now to how to hook it up to your existing harness. Um, of course, you don't need the the old switch, and for most people. <clears throat> Uh, connect uh, blue to blue, brown to brown, and red to red on the switch. You need to pull back the silicon cover and just put it in there. It's fairly simple. Um, when it's connected like that, your car, uh, when it's off, will be in reduced heat mode. So it will be about 40 degrees Celsius. Um, on the heater, if you, for instance, try to uh, or use the, the uh, preheater function uh, either with the timer or with um, your app application thingy, um, if you want full on uh, full on heat when the car is off, you just um, don't connect the blue one. You just leave it there. Um, you could put a little bit of tape on the end, but it's not necessary. That's why the silicon cover is there. It's to protect it from, from uh, getting getting uh, some kind of malfunction. Uh, if you, for instance, uh, want to use an external heater, either electricity or uh, a diesel heater or whatever, uh, to heat the water, uh, this grey cable here, that one is designed to give input here. You just add positive voltage 
12 volts on that one and the system here will be active so it will cut the heat uh, from the car. Fairly simple. So to illustrate what's going on here um, now um, we pretend that the car is on it's giving out 13.26 volts um, and the switch is active so it's pushed on. Um, you leave the car um, you just turn off your key so the power is gone. Now the switch and the relay they are no longer active so uh, the car will act as normal to preheat and stuff like that if you uh, buy timer or application. That's the whole point of this kit uh, as well as this switch is very nice looks very nice looks very very factory made to uh, Nissan Leaf it's the same same dimensions and the same same uh, design so that's it I'm going to try to get uh, an installation uh, guide in the car as well uh, but this is the basic layout um, and I'm, I'm hoping that uh, people will get uh, use of this this short video